Great. So let's get started with our third video. Now, you guys were very good to me last time in allowing me to go through some very core JavaScript. And what I've done is I've gone back to that source code and I've copy pasted into a new file called template.html. And I'd like for, for you all to do that too because there's some pieces of every uh, sample that we do here that have a great deal in common. And I just want to remove some things that you know, might disappear. Like we're always going to have you know, my function. We're going to keep that. But we're going to change the content of my function. And then we're going to have a script as well. And then the rest is going to be just very, very empty, very basic HTML uh, structure that we're going to change as well. But that structure is important. So that template is just something that just has uh, doc type, HTML, body. You know that the body is where the content is going to appear. And so we're going to have the content uh, here. And that's an HTML uh, comment. And then we're going to have uh, all uh, JavaScript in here. And that will become our template. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, open this up and make this into a new file almost every time. Now I'm going to have about 11 examples that I'm going to work through today. And it's going to go a little bit fast. And so I don't want you to feel pressure to just code along with me. I want you to just relax and allow me to just kind of go over some big concepts. That's, that's all I want your goal to be right now. And then as you try this, it will fall into place. Let me say this. Programming is very scholarly. It's not a... Um, it's blue collar in that you're working very hard and you know it's physically exert, exerting when you have a 12 hour day but um, but largely you're under air conditioning the whole time and the real core of programming is not the work but it's rather the study and it's all about you acquainting yourself with the meaning of the code is so in that way coding is primarily scholarly more so than it is hard work even though it's hard work the folks who have the best scholarly grasp of what's happening usually have the most fun. So I want you to first try to acquaint yourself with the idea and then allow yourself to do the hard work. Because let me say this, hard work will not solve programming problems. Scholarship, reasoning, uh, those are the things that, that make code work. Okay. And uh, I hope to prove that. So let's get busy. Let's make a brand. Let's copy paste all of this template. And let's make a new HTML file. And so let's call this JS uh, demo 3.html. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my template in here. And that template is going to be the same template that you and I um, built earlier. And so let's do a little bit of fresh work here. And let's do that by introducing a, a new concept called the head. Now the head in, in, a, in HTML has the role of configuring um, uh, the page so that it has uh, assets uh, it needs. And in the case of uh, this page, I'm actually going to take the script um, from here and I'm going to put it right in the head. And what's going to happen is the body can see what's in, in the head. Which means that if I go ahead and put a script right here, then that script is going to be accessible from within the body when it's time to run the body. And what I mean by run the body, I mean that when the HTML and the JavaScript arrive in the browser, and the browser goes ahead and executes what's in the, uh, in the web page. So, you know, I'm intentionally going fast just so that I get something inside. You know, I get something in your brain, right? You guys are smart. You're hungry. You're, you're absorbing. So I want to go ahead and do something you've seen before, which is get element by ID. And I want to plan ahead and I say, I want to grab 
an HTML element called demo, and then I want to set the, the, the words inside of it so that it says paragraph changed. Very simple. And we want to keep some very simple output um, happening. And then I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the body, which is the visible part of the website. And I want to say, OK, let's do something of heading one, so it's going to be really large. And I'm going to say my demonstration uh, website. And I'm going to wrap up uh, h1. And then I want to say, I want to create a paragraph whose ID is demo. Now, one of the big connections that I wanted to make um, last time we talked was when we do JavaScript, JavaScript likes things with an ID on it. So when you're doing HTML, um, when there's an ID on your HTML element, JavaScript is going to be able to see it. And JavaScript is going to be able to change what's happening in your HTML when you have an ID that's set right there. So I'm going to have that demo, that ID of paragraph set to demo. And I'm going to say uh, my test paragraph. And that will be the end of its paragraph right there. And then what I want to do is I want to create some, some interactivity. So I'm going to create a button of type button. Okay, and my on click, or when I click that button, I want it to run my function right above. So I'm going to be taking the name of that function and dropping it in uh, right there. And I want that button to say, um, press this. And of course, I'm going to end that tag with the end button right there. So I hope that's easy enough to, that should be all brought together. But that's just me skipping line. So you shouldn't feel obligated to skip the line there. And let me just make that look a little bit more, a uh, little bit easier to read. Now here's a good mid, in the old version of this class we did midterms and we did tests. And I would make an error like this. I'd say, well, would this code work? And a smart student would say, yeah, it would work if you just put a duh, one of those on it. So if I were to leave that symbol out, it would not run. But if I put that symbol in there, it'll run nicely. And that'll be the end of that. So let me go ahead and quickly test whether I've given you good code. And so I have my demonstration website. And when I press this, and let me refresh, this happens quickly. My, it's very simple. I just press the button, and that will change the content of what happens inside of this paragraph right there. Now, would you guys like for me to pause for a second and for you guys to take a minute to try to? That sounds like a good idea. You're hot on the trail of something. So, you know, I was thinking I would whip through a couple, but I may just make a bunch of little tiny videos, and that will be good enough. So I'll pause for now. We'll go to the next one.